Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to be reading a story that I've loved reading um, in the past to my classes at EW Norman and it's called Don't Need Friends and it's written by Carolyn Crimmy. This is a story about the importance of having one really good friend in your life and I hope that you can think about who that is right now. Don't Need Friends. Rat had a best friend named Possum. Rat and Possum did everything together. Until Possum had to move to another junkyard, leaving Rat behind. So one fall day, Rat made a decision. Don't need friends. Don't need them at all. He grumbled. I like the author's use of the word grumbled instead of just said. Morning, rat, said Mouse. How do, how do? Terrible, said Rat as he scrounged for scraps. And don't ever ask again. He grabbed a biscuit and continued on his way. Afternoon, friend, said Pigeon. Care to share this poppy seed muffin with me? I'm not your friend and I don't share, said Rat in a huff. Evening, Rat, said Raccoon. I'm having a party. Care to come? Don't like parties, said Rat. And I don't like you. Raccoon frowned and scurried away. Certainly isn't being very nice, is he? Not a good way to make friends. All alone, Rat slept in his crate. He could hear the chattering and cooing of the animals and birds at the party. He thought of his old friend Possum inside. Don't need friends, he mumbled as he drifted off to sleep. Don't need him at all. Day after day, Rat kept to himself mumbling and grumbling to no one in particular. If anyone spoke to him, he just sneered. Pretty soon the animals stopped inviting Rat to parties. They stopped asking him to share their meals. They even stopped saying hello. And I think that's what happens when you're mean to someone over and over again. They don't want to be your friend. Fine with me, thought Rat. Don't need friends, don't need them at all. Then one day a dog moved in. He was big, he was dirty, and he was a real grouch. Don't you come near me, snarled Dog as Rat made his morning rounds for scraps. Fine with me, said Rat. So Rat and Dog stayed on opposite sides of the junkyard. Rat in his crate and Dog in his barrel. Sometimes they watched each other from across the way. Hey Rat! barked Dog. Don't you come over here. Don't you come over here either, shouted Rat. At night, Rat could hear Dog howling to the moon. It wasn't a friendly sound. Then winter came, and the nights were long and cold. All the other animals huddled together, telling stories and keeping each other warm. Rat could hear them giggling as he sat all alone in his crate. Hey dog, Rat called. Don't even think of coming over here. Don't worry, Dog shouted. I won't.
But that night, when Rat heard Dog howling at the moon, he wondered why Dog sounded so lonely. Forget about that, Rat mumbled to himself as he turned his back to Dog's howling. Who cares about Dog anyway? One winter morning, the temperature dropped to an all-time low. Snow covered the junk piles. Ice glistened off the old hubcaps. The animals stayed huddled together all day, eating scraps they had saved for such weather. I really like how the author used such vivid language to create a real strong mental picture. Snow covered the junk piles. Ice glistened off old hubcaps. But Rat didn't mind the cold. He scampered out of his crate and called the dog with his usual greeting. Stay on your side, dog, said Rat. Dog growled at Rat, but that was all. Rat noticed that Dog was moving much more slowly than usual as he marched up and down his side of the junkyard. Hmph, said Rat, lazy old mutt. When the moon rose that night, Rat waited for Dog's howling. The dog was quiet. Why do you think? What's your prediction here? Rat couldn't sleep. He tossed and turned. The quiet was too much for him. Don't start that howling again, Dog, cried Rat. Dog only coughed. The next day, Dog stayed in his barrel. Hey, Dog, don't you move from there, called Rat as he gathered his breakfast. Dog only sniffled. Hey, Dog, don't try to take this pizza from me, said Rat as he munched on his lunch. Dog only sneezed. The sun set behind a mountain of junk, and still Dog did not move from his barrel. Fine, shouted Rat. Stay there. See if I care. As Rat stomped off to his crate, he stumbled upon the greatest treasure he could ever have imagined. It was a foot-long salami sandwich. Better grab this before someone else sees it, Rat thought. He started to drag it home and then stopped. It was an awfully big sandwich. Big enough for two. Don't need friends. Don't need them at all, grumbled Rat as he rolled the sandwich toward Dog's barrel. Hey, dog, don't move. Stay right where you are. Dog lifted his head and sniffed the air. Don't you dare bring that sandwich this way, he said, thumping his tail on the side of the barrel. And what do you know about dogs when they start thumping and wagging their tail? Rat pushed and pulled and dragged and rolled that foot-long salami sandwich right to the front of dog's barrel. Don't eat it at all, snarled Rat. Save some for me. Rat ate from one side of the sandwich while Dog ate from the other. When they were finished, Dog licked his lips and sighed. His eyes looked brighter. His ears perked up. His tail wagged wildly. Don't suppose you want me to thank you, said Dog. Nope, said Rat. I don't. A fierce wind whipped through the junkyard, making Rat's fur stand on end. Without a word, Rat crept inside Dog's barrel and curled up next to Dog. 
Don't expect me to let you do this again, said Dog. But the next night, when Rat came back, Dog didn't complain. And the night after that, and the night after that, soon Dog and Rat were making their morning rounds together searching for scraps. Sometimes they accidentally dropped a French fry or two near the smaller animals' homes. Hate French fries, Rat grumbled. Who needs them? said Dog. And when the moon was especially full and bright, Rat and Dog howled together in harmony. Don't need many friends, thought Rat each night as he lay next to Dog. Just need one. I hope that you have that one special friend that fills your day and fills your heart. Don't need friends. Have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.